Hi, I'm Christina from York Professional Care and Education. I'm a nature educator and camp director, and today I am here to talk to you about untying knots. So, we spend a lot of time thinking about how to tie knots, and what's really important to also know is how to untie them, some tips and tricks to get them out. It's important to untie knots from our rope because knots reduce strength and if we're using a rope to do something like hang a swing or for some reason we're bearing the weight of a person we're going to want only the knots we intend to be in that rope to be in it so i have three tricks that work best for me when i am trying to take the knots out of a rope the first trick is actually not a trick at all. It is making sure that you're tying the right knots because uh, a planned knot uh, and the knot that's suitable for a situation is likely gonna be easier to untie. Other part of this trick is to untie your knots as soon as you need to. You don't let them set in because if a rope gets wet and it continues to be put under tension, so that's when it's being pulled on, uh, and then dry, it'll actually be tighter and harder to undo. So you really want to think about untying your knots as soon as you're done with them. In this case, uh, a figure eight knot is actually one that's somewhat easier to undo because of the way it's been designed, where we have a video on how to tie this knot. It's a personal favorite of mine. And so a knot that's been tied intentionally and is untied rather quickly should come out with quite a bit of ease. Now, an overhand knot. This knot can be a tricky one and it frequently ends up in your ropes, especially if you're not properly coiling them at the end of each activity. They somehow just a form out of nowhere. But my number two trick for getting knots out is, uh, I call it, you can't push on a rope. And that's something my grandfather, who was an engineer and sailor used to always say, but. I actually think you can push on a rope. So what we're gonna do, what we need to do to untie this knot, it's too tight for us to just pull out with our fingers, is we're going to put a twist on the rope because right now we can't push on this rope. Pushing on this does nothing. What we need to do is to make it more firm. So what you need to do is holding the knot in one hand, we're gonna twist the other side and then suddenly we have, a, have something much firmer. And so I'm gonna start pushing and it is a bit of a tricky technique you will get the hang of it you can then twist the other way and oh I got some movement there it just it just putting that twist in makes it more more firm and rigid and makes it possible to push it out once that knot is loosened let's go on ahead and pull it out so again the trick with that is putting you can see right now my rope is straight once I start twisting it you'll really see it suddenly gets a lot more firm and you can in fact push on a rope no matter what my grandfather said. The last trick. So if I'm pushing and it's not working, I've twisted both ways. Another technique you can use is to either, if you have a hard surface in front of you, to push and roll or between your two hands and it just helps loosen things up. And now suddenly I'm getting a bit of motion in here. Then I might switch to my technique of, of twisting and pushing. And with a little bit of work and a little bit of patience, you can get this knot. Oh, and see, I do it without even thinking about it. I switch to pushing the push on a rope technique. So I hope those three new tricks you now have are going to be helpful as you take rope out into your program. So practice them and you can try untying maybe some knots in ropes you have at home already. Get those out of there and try to remember both the rock and roll technique and the push on a rope technique that are great for getting knots out that have been set in for a while. Thanks so much.